Hey guys, it's your girl, The Authentic Nisi, coming back to you with another video. So, in today's vlog, I will be showing you part one of my Bali trip. So, a lot of you asked where I flew from. I actually flew from Virginia, which is the IAD airport. And then uh, we ended up at the Sapphire Lounge, which was amazing because we had gourmet breakfast. We had uh, cocktails, coffees, and of course it's exclusive. So we were able to access the lounge with credit card membership that my boyfriend had. So that was a plus and we were grateful for that because we, we had an amazing breakfast. We stayed in the lounge for about an hour and then it was time to board our flight. We are currently on Qatar Airways and we did economy. Our economy tickets were about, I believe, $1,200. And, you know, I really thought that my experience wouldn't be that great because it was economy and it was going to be a long flight. However, it was actually not too bad despite, you know, us wanting to stretch our legs. But we were fed a lot. Like, we had snacks, we had entertainment, we had food, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks in between. So that was a plus. I was not expecting to be fed that much, but I guess what do you expect on a very long flight? On our screen in front of us, we had entertainment, we had games, we had um, multiple TV shows, we had music that we could listen to. So that's always good when you're on a flight and you need to pass the time because it can make you anxious and i feel like once you have entertainment it kind of calms you down so our first leg was actually from um it was actually about 12 hours and then our second leg was nine hours right now we are in flight to doha and then from doha we have like an hour layover and then we jump right back on a plane for nine hours and then we head to bali and we just wanted to lay down because we didn't get to lay down for a very long time that's the only thing about economy you're not laying down like in first class so we were super excited to reach um the hotel rooms were very nice very clean we had our personal plunge pools and we also had a poolside view and easy access right from our rooms and the hotel prices weren't expensive at all this hotel was located right on Kuta Beach, so literally as you walk out from the hotel, the beach is right there, shopping is right there, everything is right there, it's walking distance, you don't need to catch a taxi to any of like the shopping little markets because you can walk. Alright, so we woke up early for breakfast and uh, trust me, the hunger was hungry. When we went to that breakfast buffet, let me tell you, we had all kind of things. Food, all kind of mix match food. We have soup, we have vegetables, we have all kind of Asian food, and some of French toast, and all kind of crazy life. But let me tell you something, one thing about that buffet, it was good. And our buffet was only $12 per person. Do you know how cheap that is? All of that, and the food is not trash food. The food is high quality food. We was getting lattes, and them lattes was awesome. It wasn't no small little lattes. It was those little big vanilla lattes. It was also making us fresh green juices right in front of us. And you could ask them to put whatever fruits that you want inside of it. And they had the fruits lined up here. So literally, you could pick the fruits too if you wanted to. And it was such a good juice. I used to get this green juice. Oh, it was so good. I miss it so much. But guys, the food was so amazing. And I really don't regret having that hotel experience before we started to go travel to our other place that we were going to stay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs>
we went to Kusa Beach first. That was very nice. The beach is not like, you know, like regular white sand beach. It was the black sand. And uh, I haven't seen a beach like that probably from the time I was a from since I was a child when I went to Dominica. So experiencing that as an adult was a cool experience. And there were local people there selling things on the beach if you wanted to get anything, like any souvenirs. And um, after we went, after we came from the beach and we took pictures and stuff, we walked down the street to um, the beach walk, which is actually a place where you have, like, it's like a little outdoor mall. And there's a lot of like American stores, it's Zara, H&M, um, like Nike stores, things like that. Like, a good place to visit because then you get to see what um, that area has to offer to you. You never know, just in case you don't want to eat at the hotel, you could go down the road and find yourself a cafe. Kuta, Bali overall has so much cafes and so much places to eat, you wouldn't run out of options. There's, there's a new place to eat and a new place to experience something new every single day. this area we walked back to the mall because we had some spa um, appointments at the hotel and uh, trust me guys it was probably like one of the best experiences that I've had at the spa number one because it was super cheap to get like a one hour massage I think we either had like a 60 or 80 minute massage and I kid you not it was probably like 40 bucks um, after the spa, we went to relax in the pool and there was a poolside service. We got drinks. There was also, um, a swim up bar that you could swim up to and get drinks there. And you could also order food there. So it was a very relaxing experience. If you like to get catered to, best option ever. And I think the whole like thing about this trip was that everything was so affordable like going to Bali you truly get your money's worth so this year is my year and I was just telling myself that you know Bali was one of my dream places to go to and I told myself that this year would be the year that I go to Bali even if I have to go to by myself I'm gonna go but I was lucky to have my auntie and my boyfriend with me and we had an amazing time. Like people was like, oh you take your auntie on a trip with your boyfriend there. And I'm like, um, yeah, this was actually supposed to be me and my auntie trip and my boyfriend come along. So yeah. <laughs> it was honestly fun. Um and I don't regret it at all. This was like a once in a lifetime experience because you know not often we travel so far away like 24 hours worth of flight you know but anyway guys back to what's going on in the video we went to a flea market in Seminyak and you would see this flea market on TikTok um, just letting you guys know that when you do go to the flea market make sure you do bargain with them because they start you at a higher price point than what the clothes are actually worth and it's always good to carry cash in this video um, we are on our way to go do some tours and this was uh, on our way actually to Ubud I believe I'm not too sure I don't remember but this was one of the places that we went to and it was super beautiful just being able to see the scenery alone was a blessing and experience and the tours are very inexpensive we actually hired a driver who um who would take us around and literally we will call him for any and everything and he would pick us up take us to where we need to go and then we would go back to the hotel or the airbnb but this was very beautiful 
and you know if you're looking to experience culture and you're not really trying to you know focus on the partying and stuff i really do recommend going to all the sightseeing places that there is to see in bali because there is plenty of beautiful scenery formations agriculture and you're not going to regret it After the tour, we took a drive back to the hotel and then we headed down to the Kuta Social Club, which was about a seven minute walk from the hotel for us. The scenery was very nice. Um, we decided to get dinner here, watch the sunset, and it was really nice because uh, there was also fireworks this night, which was unexpected for us. And it was so beautiful. The music, the whole vibe was really nice. So if you're staying nearby, Kuda Social Club is a good place to be. Just to have, you know, enjoy the scenery, watch over Kuta Beach, eat food. And mind you, the food is quality food. Very affordable, very tasty. It is coming down to the end of my Bali trip experience. This was just part one, guys. There, there was so much that we did that I had to break the video down into about two, three parts. So stay tuned. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment if you have anything to say, and share, of course. See you guys in part two of my Bali trip. Bye. The Legion.